it was just one of them things to earn money. And if you're brought up uh, like where we was brought, I was brought up in the East End and things like that. It, 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 you know, you you go straight into that because you're surrounded by people who are, who are doing it, so you follow suit, and uh, that's the only way you get a living. You want to be like the next, you know, you want to be like the next person seeing him riding around in lovely suits and uh, and big cars. You want to be the same. For me, it's always been the money. To be honest with you, I love the money, and it was um, it was good why it was there. Roy had done it for the money, but now he's got his own world, his own businesses, so he don't need to do that. Roy was one of the professionals. He was. One of the leading lights before me. He worked with the people that I knew from years ago. Um, what I do like about him, he's a, he's a moral criminal, what I call moral criminal. I, he's not an evil, nasty person. He's a good guy. He won't hurt anyone. He loves his family. He loves helping people. And he won't take a liberty with someone, and not unless they're taking a liberty with him. Is there a buzz of crime? Well, there is if you get away with it. I never hurt anybody anyway, in my, what I used to do. I call it the manipulation of fear and terror, the armed robber, that's, that's, his, that's his trade. Because if you manipulate fear and terror, you didn't want to do what they wanted you to do. And no doubt Roy could do it anyway. And uh, I'm, I was quite good at it myself. I mean, because you, you've got all the, all the tricks of the trade, and the mask, the gun, you know, the, and catching someone right at the right moment. It's different types of armed robbers. You've got the uh, organiser and you've got the soldiers. You've got those that, could, that can do specific jobs, specific roles. It's, got, it's a 24 hour occupation. You can't just switch off after robbery and think it's all over now. You've got to play the part, you've got to look the part. And when I say look the part, I mean you, you don't want to drive around in Rolls Royces if you're committing armed robberies, or you want to you know, you drive around in a sensible little run around that no one fits in with everyone else because you don't want to bring it on top. Um, I don't think Roy misses it because Roy's moved on as well in his, in his own world. But um, Roy replaced it with uh, his, his fighting, his boxing, his training. It's best to leave it behind. It is a bit of a prehistoric art now. And um, because obviously everyone's moved in, moved in the world through drugs or in the drug world. We tempted to go back into you know, if there was a great job turned up? No way, no way, no. I'm satisfied how I am there. I've got no worries about knocking on my door. If they do, they make a big, big mistake. I've had so many times of that, yeah.